Hello everybody, good afternoon. I would first like to thank Advantech for inviting us to talk here and give this opportunity to show our products and our company to everybody. And I will have, uh, I'm a development manager, software development manager of SETI. We are a Brazilian company and I would like to make a brief introduction of our, of our company. So I'll show you this video. Você já percebeu como a tecnologia vem mudando o mundo dos negócios? A velocidade e o dinamismo são os novos diferenciais. Do maquinário ao controle, segurança e até comunicação com sua equipe, a tecnologia está presente. We are 12 years in the market. Um arquivo corrompido. And we assume the commitment to offer technology in behalf of business in seus objetivos. So that's why we come with a great variety of trained professionals to assure that our customers get the best of the technology. Não é difícil adivinhar. And also now we're starting to go to other countries in the Latin America. Por isso, a tranquilidade é o so, foco da sete business. We are always open to new partnerships. Simples. And it has a great business. So it's plenty of you like what I show here. Or have any opportunity, opportunity to, to, discuss to discuss in Brazil or in any other form of these countries. We'll be very glad to trabalhar a seu favor. Talk to you. Entre em contato com sete BT. So e descubra como otimizar o seu negócio. The... The call for our conference said that we will, we will talk about garbage collection and waste management, but I would like to show also another project that we also use the track, the Advantech equipment, that is the fueling truck, then I'll go to the waste management system. So, what is this fueling truck? Many industries have their equipments in the field, that has to be filled and cannot go to any gas station because many of them are are immovable, are fixed, or have to work 24/7. And then these companies have to have these filling trucks to go to carry the fuel into the the field and fuel all these equipment. But they have a problem because the diesel is highly consumed in these companies and is very easily stolen. In Brazil we have a little bit, a, a little problem that we have already seen some companies that have fired the entire department for, because everybody was in, in the, in the fueling stolen schema. So, and just for you to have a little bit of, the, to understand a little bit of the size of the business that we're talking about, some sugar plant industries, you consume 10 million liters of diesel per year. So, and we have a lot of them in Brazil. We also provide the same solution to construction companies, mining companies, and all of them have the same problem that is controlling efficiently the diesel and this delivery of diesel to the field. So we use this hardware that we've made to control the truck, the pump, and the dispenser of the diesel, all together with one track 723 provided by Advantech to make this, this control efficiently. And we have chosen the track 723 because of their flexibility. We have in it Wi-Fi, GPRS, GPS, can uh, vibration resistance. I will show you a video why this is so important to us. This environment is very harsh, so we need to have a very, very good equipment and strong equipment. Temperature resistance in the field, the temperatures can get to 45 degrees in Brazil. And imagine that inside a truck, inside a box of metal, because the track does, does not stay in the cabin. It stays in the behind with the fuel pump. So we need to have a very good equipment, very strong one. This is one fueling truck. 
So, and this is the equipment. We have here one Trax 723. We started using the Trax 753, but in Brazil we have another issue that are taxes. So every equipment that gets there, imported, you have to add 60% in the value that it only taxes. So we had to find another, another cheaper equipment and then we went to the 723 that it's smaller and but it's great as well. So we have here also one printer to print the receipts and here the, the pump in this in this equipment is high but you have all everything he needs in here. So we have one big tank of diesel and lubricants also and we control everything with our application. As we have GPRS here Everything is transmitted in real time to our cloud management service. So the customers know exactly at that time where the truck is, which equipment have already been filled, and we also integrate that with the customer ERP, SAP, Oracle, and ERP, and to provide this control for them. Here's the video that I've mentioned about the track why we have to have great equipment. You can see here, here is a, a video took with a cell phone by a customer of us and it shows the vibration. Here you can see the, the, the truck and it vibrates a lot, so the equipment keep working perfectly. We had we never had problem with this in this kind of application, and that's why we trust advanced that equipment. Here, there's another another more impressive video that was made in another customer where his truck was set into fire, so the cabin was burned, and here the track stays in this first box was also burned and the, the track still work. You can see that it, it is very damaged. a little bit damaged, we, we understand that, but the point is our customers did not lose their data. The data was still in the equipment, we were able to get that and send to him because the equipment was working perfectly, besides of the, the So, I think we could, we could have a picture of how harsh is our requirement, so we need a, a great equipment. And now I have a case where from not from a sugar plant industry or a construction, but mobile. Uh, you should all know mobile. They are in several countries. I think all countries, uh, all, all of your countries have mobile. They distribute lubricants in Brazil. And the entire distribution in the entire country of Brazil, and now we're heading to other countries in Latin America, is made by our equipment. So they have this big, because there we, they, they started to have a concern to stop using that small plastic bottles because of environmental issues, disposal issues. So now they have these big, uh, big plastic bottles, but that fits uh, 1,000 liters of lubricant in the customer. I will show you a video of that, of the fueling process. And they have to deliver this, this lubricant in the field. So we also use the track and one, one printer here to print the receipts to control all and manage all the dis distribution of the lubricant. So. Yeah. Here, the, the customer 
has we, we already integrate with mobile ERP so all the order, orders are downloaded in our track and then when he gets to the customer he already know he puts the, the customer code and he already knows which lubricant he has to deliver because this trucks to three four two kinds of lubricants in the same truck and he can make the delivery and the, the control center can see where the truck is uh, which deliveries were already made. We had another issue in Brazil that we've solved. We're the only one that do that in Brazil. That is the, to print the receipt in the field because we have to communicate with the, the government to send the receipt, they have to validate it, send it back to us, then we're going to print it. And track could, could uh, what enabled us to do that was GPRS by track. So we can communicate with that, even in areas where there's no coverage, we store that in the equipment in one, two, three minutes then, when the truck gets to, a, to an area with coverage, we send this, this information to the government, they send back and everything. We can complete the process, the whole process. The video is a little bit long, so we're going straight to the point. This is the big bottle that was, I was talking about. So each customer has one of these that fits 400 liters, the other one fits 1,000 liters, and each lubricant has one specifically uh, tank, and they have to fill all these tanks in order to, the, to their customer provides the lubricants to their customer. So, here is another video that shows the entire the entire project that it's not only about the delivery of the lubricant. We do everything. Each distributor has one sensor in each tank that they have. So we provide a VMI for the industry. As they they produce the lubricant by batch. They have to know how many lubricants they can produce, where to send it, and to optimize the process. So they have in real time, in one interface, all the, the status of all the tanks in the distributors, and the distributors have the, all the status of all the tanks in their customers. And everything is controlled by us, even in the distribution in the, in the final consumer. So here is showing the distributor size side. They can be warned if some customer gets out of lubricants in order to deliver that to them. They can check in real time. We we also uh, print the road that they have to do to deliver this lubricant more efficiently and everything in order to save money and save time and be more efficient. So the distributor fuels its, tank, its truck. This truck is the one that I showed you before with the track. And that truck goes into the customers, deliver the product, prints the receipt, and the transaction is done. More safety, more economy, more technology, and that's our partnership with Mobile Brazil.
um projeto COSAN, com a tecnologia 7DP. Brasil Mobile Brand is owned by COSAN, that it's a huge um, company there that uh, works in many areas as sugar cane plants and lubricants, fuel, everything. Well, the second project that I would like to show you is the garbage collection truck and waste, waste management. Here, the issue is that the task of garbage collection demands a lot of the truck. So if the driver is not well trained and well instructed, it can damage the truck, it can increase the consumption of fuel, it can infringe the laws of the, the traffic laws. So, and also these companies have, have obligations to fulfill, as for instance, to, stay, to be at some points, at, some, at certain times, to go in, into the same streets every day in, inside a sector, that's what they call the, the area that ha they have to collect, and our system managed all that and make it easier <coughs> to the customer. So, in order to help them, we, de we developed the uh, telemetry and control system that stays in the truck. So, our, our goal is to reduce the truck wear, to make it easier for them to fulfill all obligations to have a good garbage collection through our system and through technology using also a track 723. So our equipment is attached, it's plugged into the canvas of the of the truck and we know so exactly the speed that the truck driver is going, the RPM, the gear, everything that he's doing, so we can do we can put notes into, we can put it, his, his driver quality into a scale. So he, this one is a good driver, that one is a not so good driver, and by the end of the month, the better drivers get prizes. So a better payment, a travel, something like that. And then the company can save a lot of money with that. So we give grades to these drivers. So, all this information it's put into into the track. The truck driver also can fill some some forms, so inform if the truck is broken, so someone can go there and help him. Can inform why is it late, why is it stopped. So he has to inform everything in order to have a great service and with the best quality as possible. Just to illustrate, I have here a video of, our, of a dashboard, a diagnosed dashboard, where you can see we, have, we are in a truck, the video is not that good, but here we have the RPM gauge, the speed gauge, and we are monitoring at real time everything that's running with the truck. So if anything goes wrong, we will know by that time and we will warn the the central so that can, they can take any action to solve the problem. This is one truck. This project is already in Peru, Lima, and this truck is, is from there. We, this is a Brazilian company that works in several countries. Uh, it's called Vega from the Solvi group and in Lima, it's called Innova. Here we have some screens of the, our application. So we have the collection form, the delivery form, the trash delivery in the endpoint, <coughs> fueling, everything is informed here so that the, the control center can, can know what is happening, can take their actions. Also, when they are collecting the, the trash, we show their road, which roads they should go, 
and if he is late, he is not late, and everything is controlled by this equipment. In the control center, they have a lot of options in our website that stays in our cloud. Everything is SaaS, so software as a service. And here is a, a screen where they can see all the trucks, where they are. Each color of each truck means one specific action. So green means he's collecting, blue means he's going to somewhere, and gray, he's stopping, he's doing nothing. So they can control everything by here. And in this grid, they can see the, the actual speed, if it's, what's the status of the truck, so what is it doing right now, and if it's late, if it's not late, and everything is controlled by our dashboard. So, in that, I, I would like also to, to go back a little bit to this project and all the sensors that we use here in the mobile project are made by us. So we're not only a software software company, we are also a hardware company, but our goal is not to sell hardware. Our goal is to have a hardware that fits the client's needs, the customer needs, and allow us to, to deliver a good solution. So, when we got to this problem, to the problem of this harsh, harsh environment, and, and we have to have a great equipment, we went to the market and started searching for this equipment. We found Advantech, and I'll show you why we trust them. I'll show you the, the burning equipment, the, the vibrating equipment, and everything runs well. But, we have other hardwares as well, as if as like I was talking, and we have sensors of volumeter, volumeter sensors. We have uh, ultrasonic sensors. So, if as I was saying, also we are always open to new partnerships. So, if any of you have any opportunity that you like to share, would like to talk in Brazil in any other country. We will be very happy and very glad to talk to you and try to, to get to a partnership because we are, that's our goal. Our goal is to deliver great solutions to our customers and great solutions to fit the customer's needs. Well. That was my presentation. I would like to thank again Advantech for the opportunity of being here. Thank you everybody for listening and that's all. <laughs>